you want to choose complementary colors, two. And so today I have chosen red and green. Step one, write your name on the back of your card. Then take your two markers, I chose red and green because they're complementary, and mix them with your black. I'm starting by doing black circles all over my card. I'm going to make big ones and small ones. I'm gonna color some in with black, and then I'm going to leave some empty. The idea here is that by the end of my masterpiece, there will be no negative space left. Remember, negative space is any of the white left on my card. I'm now gonna take some red and make some more dots. I'm going to color in my big circle, make some more small circles, medium-sized circles, maybe even connect some of my larger black circles. I'm now gonna take my green and do some more circles, filling in some more of my negative space and turning it into positive space with color. You can see that my negative space, that's the white space on my card, is disappearing. I'm now going to take my black marker and outline some of my circles and my dots to make them look even more pronounced. That means that they are more clearly circles. Remember, you don't have to rush. Take your time. Circle as many of them as you want because I have my black, my red, and my green. I'm gonna go back in with my green, add some more circles to connect them, fill in my negative space so that the more I fill in my circles, the more my card is filled with color. You can see my dot masterpiece is really coming along. I'm even going in and filling in little tiny dots on top of my larger red circles and my tiny red circles. I've almost made a bullseye in the center of my card. Going back in again with my red. Filling in all of my white space so that it is filled with as many dots as I can get. I'm now gonna go in one last time with my black marker and outline my circles. And now you can see there's not really enough space left for me to make tiny circles. And so I'm gonna go in with my black marker and just kind of create a background and color in any of the white space that's left over. I have to be really careful because I wanna make sure that I'm not covering any of my circles and dots that I've made that I really like. The point here is to make sure that I'm coloring in all of my white slash negative space so that it is all now positive space. Filled in with the complementary colors of green and red and black as my background. And you can see that now my dot masterpiece is complete.